Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Now, if you're looking for one of the really great teardrops, fits in your garage, but has a bathroom option, that's what we're gonna show you today. Yeah, hard to believe, but this one will do it. Now, let me give you some specs on it. It is 15 foot, eight inches long. The height of this is gonna be six foot, eight inches, so it fits in most garages. The weight's gonna vary because there are a lot of options. So it's gonna weigh around 1,800 pounds and cost around $20,000. All right, if that's something you're interested in, let's start out inside. Okay, now this feels so open in here. Let me give you a few dimensions. Let me slip inside here. I'm gonna sit on one of these futons. These are options in these trailers, but from the floor to the ceiling is four and a half feet. Doesn't sound like much, but in a space like this, it really feels really comfortable. All right. Uh, 60 by 80 on the inside, so a standard queen mattress fits inside. Now these futon chairs are options. We have them turned this way, um, the back comes out, but you can actually position them anywhere. Lean them up against the back if you wanna watch television, turn them the other direction if you wanna gaze out the windows. Um, really, they're movable anywhere. Next. Let's go up front and take a look at the really cool features in this trailer. Now this is the front of the Luna, and for most of you, you may know that I'm five foot tall, so there is some headroom left here, but I will tell you that when people who are six feet tall sit here, they seem to be comfortable as well. Um, the windshield on the front is really the signature of this trailer. Uh, this is a 2021 model, so this windshield has changed. Um, it's a little bit different shape. You may not even notice that if you're used to seeing the Luna, but uh, it has changed just a bit from 2020. Uh, still has that nice, clear front, so you get a beautiful view out. Uh, up above, they have the wood panel with the lighting in it. These lights can also turn white or blue. Speakers on each side and a pull shade for privacy right here. Just comes straight down. Very easy to use. Rolls right back up, gets out of your way. Now a lot of people, the first thing they're going to say is all that glass on the front of a trailer. Well, this is a windshield, so it's as strong as the windshield in your car. Um, however, every Luna is going to come with a windshield cover snaps on, very easy to use, will protect it going down the road. So again, that was an option in 2020. It is now standard on this Luna. The seat that I'm sitting on is on both sides and it, it really is made to sit on or you can use it as a countertop either way. And there is storage right underneath on both sides. And in the center, normally in a Luna, you would find a cabinet. But what's here now? That toilet I was talking about. In the back, there's two cup holders here. And when you flip up the lid, it folds up right in front of those. And you can see this piece kind of just folds down and it holds itself up. Um, the hinges do a great job. It doesn't hit the windshield. There's nothing you have to do to prop it up. It just stays right there. This is a cassette toilet and it has an electric fill for the water. The Luna has an eight and a half gallon fresh water tank, and that is connected to this cassette toilet. So you push the button, you can add some water into the toilet. It does have a hand flush here. And when you're done, 
simply close the cover, goes right back down. So it's really convenient. It's out of the way. Honestly, I was a little worried that it might hurt the interior of this because it's so modern and so clean, so comfortable. But the way they hid it away in this cabinet, you can't even tell it's there. So great job, Intech. I think it's a wonderful addition. Now the toilet is an option in the Luna. You don't have to have it. If you don't want the toilet option, you just have a cabinet here in the center. It makes a great table. Just a wonderful, comfortable place to sit right up here. On both sides, you're gonna have electrical outlets. One side is gonna be the 120, like a household plug. The other side is the charging port that you're used to seeing in RVs with the 12 volt plug in it and two USBs. They put nice little hooks up here so that you could hang whatever you needed or wanted and just made a great working space up here. Now with this trailer having doors on both sides, plenty of air coming through. Now before we move to the other side of the trailer, let's look down and I want to talk to you about the flooring. We have people that aren't used to this infinity flooring and get a little nervous about it. It almost looks like a, a weave, like a grass weave. But for all intensive purposes, this grass weave is, it's a PVC type product. So it's plastic. It's very easy to clean. You can wipe it down with a damp rag. No matter how muddy you get it, it's going to wipe up really easily. So nice feature, gives it a lot of style and comfortable to walk on, doesn't show a lot of dirt, cleans up. I just don't think it gets any better than that. Let's take a look at the other side of the trailer. Now I've moved the futon seats to the center of this trailer um, so I can show you the back wall a little better. And remember, you can put these anywhere you want in here. Just push them around. On the back wall, first thing you're going to notice, the 32 inch television. This is a Jensen, which means it runs off the battery. So if you're boondocking and not plugged in at a campsite, it's going to work just fine. Right below that is the converter. And the converter, of course, is what uh, converts the shore power to 12 volt and charges your batteries. The front of it is going to have your breakers and fuses in it right here. And on the right is the Jensen stereo. Of course, it's going to be Bluetooth, AM, FM, uh, DVD player on it that's going to connect right to your TV. Everything's there, simple to use. And below that, an 8000 BTU air conditioner. That air conditioner is going to keep you so cool in this space. You know, it's a very small space for that much air conditioning. Here in Texas, that's important. We really appreciate it. And the walls, the ceiling, this is all R7 insulated. And it's an aluminum cage frame, fiberglass exterior. You're going to be in great shape in really hot weather as well as cold weather. Right over here on the other side, that is the electric fireplace. Now fireplace in such a small area, again, I was a bit skeptical, but it has been really wonderful. Not only does it create just a beautiful ambiance in here and you can change the colors from orange to blue, a lot of different things you can do with it, but you can turn the heat on or off. So if you need a little bit of heat in here, uh, that fireplace is going to be the ticket. So great electric heat along with a little bit of style and comfort. These cabinets across the top are not uh, separate. Open them up, then they're going to be open all the way across. They're about eight inches deep, about six inches tall. Uh, they don't stay open by themselves. I know we'll get comments but very lightweight, easy to open them up, get what you need, put it back down. They are a soft close. That's nice. They're not going to slam shut. Uh, pegs on both sides for, again, hanging whatever works for you. And compartments on the side. So these shelves up here on each side not only have a really nice blue light in them, but they've got these elastic bands on the front 
So it's really easy to just stuff things behind them. Uh, and they'll stay in place when you're traveling for the most part, unless they're really small, of course, but really a nice storage space on both sides. Windows for ventilation, they're the kind that unclip and lift up. So you'll get half the space as a screened area. And with windows on both sides and a fantastic fan up in the center on the roof, you can get some really nice airflow in here. I really appreciate day-night shades. Why? Because you can have a little bit of privacy without complete blackout. So you've got a day shade here, and then you can pull down the next one to get a complete blackout on the night shade. Controls right here for the Max Air fan right above us. I realize it's only four and a half feet right up there. Even I could reach it. But since it comes with this remote control, they've included it. Maybe it'd be convenient if you're leaning back watching a movie and you want to turn the fan on or off. The switches underneath, main lights right here. You've got an outside porch light, the cabinet accents right up here, and exterior accents on the front of the trailer that I'll show you when we get outside. Now on the other side, you're gonna have the main light switch and a porch light as well for the other side of the trailer. Safety equipment in this trailer. You've got the uh, smoke alarm and the carbon monoxide detector right up here above the door. And the LP detector is located in the center cabinet right on the front. And of course, it's only three or four inches from the floor. That's where you always want the LP detector since it's gonna be heavier than air. And so that LP is gonna drop down to the ground. That's your safety equipment in here. And I think I've showed you pretty much everything on the inside. Let's take a look at the outside and that great kitchen in the back. Now this Luna is the Rover model. There are actually three packages you can get in the Luna trailer. There is a basic, the Rover, and the Platinum. The Rover is the off-road version, and what comes with that is going to be the 15-inch off-road tires, the step bars on the sides and on the rear, and the roof rack, and these great Rover graphics. There's two colors. There's a silver and a red in the Rover package. Really adds a great option. It's got a lift kit in it that's about two inches. Um, and just a good rugged off the grid camper if that's what you wanna do with it. Now the Platinum package is gonna have a nice ABS styled fender here and a nice ABS styled bumper along the back. Gives it a lot of style. It also has a little different decal, something a little less rugged, uh, a little more upscale looking. So if you like the platinum style, that is an option as well. The basic package, of course, is just going to have a metal fender, standard 15 inch tires. It, it works great. It's gonna have all the same features. Okay, let's take a look at this kitchen because I know this is the hit of the party here. The door's very easy to open. Let's turn the lights on right here. The two levels of lights in here really just give it a nice feel, especially if you're out camping, it's dark outside. Uh, the standard refrigerator is a 12 volt refrigerator here. Uh, it is a, kind of an ice chest style. Uh, made by Dometic, but works great out there. Doesn't take a lot of power. Um, and you can set the temperature on it. Uh, there is an upgrade. If you wanted something that would run directly off shore power, you can get one that is 110 and 12 volt. So that's an upgrade if you wanted that. Let's look at the cabinetry up here. You've got a nice open cabinet, great for storage. And up in the top left is going to be a 110 plug. Now, the reason for that is a microwave is an option in this trailer, and it would go right in this cabinet. Above that, you've got a nice wide shelf that's at least 12 inches deep. So you can really fit a lot of uh, outside kitchen cooking items, maybe some food, 
maybe just accessible gear up there. Speakers on both corners. I like the hooks in the middle, so convenient for using every square inch. Very stylish silver, brushed silver um, faucet there with a single handle and stainless steel aluminum sink. I love the farm style. It's big, it's eight inches deep, can do a lot of things with that. You will never run out of sink space working outside. Storage underneath. You've also got some plumbing running through there. You're gonna have the top of your battery box as well. Uh, but again, you always wanna be sure you use every bit of storage that you can in a trailer this size. Let's take a look over here. A little bit more storage space right there. And a two burner stove. There you go. It actually has these little wind catches here. It does have the sparker right here, so you don't need a match to light it. And they're simple to close back down. Just lift this up, fold it in, and you've got countertop again. If you're not using your stove, plenty of countertop. Works great. One more storage space that's open right here with the netting on the front. And then on the far side, it's where you have your water pump and the switch to turn on your 12 volt refrigerator and a 120 plug right there. So you could plug in your coffee pot. You know, I'm always, that's the first thing I look for is where's my coffee pot gonna go? But any type of appliance you'd like to add in out here, you've got a plug right on the front. Great kitchen here. Just got a lot of style and plenty of room to work. Now, I will tell you it's got the light on the top, so it does light up at night. All of that's great. Do you see the wide aluminum handle? I need a strap on that so I can reach it. It's gonna be very difficult for me to open and close this without a strap. Um, so easy to add, gas props to keep it open. It's easy to open, easy to close. If you're five foot tall, wanna be sure that you have a strap to reach that. What I do appreciate about the door being so tall is that even someone who's six foot tall is not gonna worry about hitting their head on that door. It's a problem with a lot of small teardrops, so great to have it that high to shade and you know keep the rain and anything else out of the kitchen. Great for tall people as well. All right, let's go to the other side. The propane tank in 2020 was located on the tongue of the trailer. Now, because there is a toilet option, that propane tank has moved to the back. The only propane option here is going to be the stove. So you really don't need that much propane. They have gone down to a five pound propane tank. It's very small, but easy to access right here on this back corner. You just close that and it's got a thumb twist on it. You know, we get a lot of questions about why this isn't lockable and its safety reasons. Uh, you will not find propane tanks that lock because of that. Uh, you wanna be able to reach in and turn it off if need be. They're always vented right here. Um, cable connection right here and just above it, a plug in for a portable solar panel. Great to park in the shade, but if you need that extra solar, if you're boondocking, you can put the solar panel plug in here, set that solar panel out in the sun and help it charge your battery. All right, right below, this is gonna be where your shore power connects. Very convenient. And you'll notice there's bars on both sides. There were bars on the back too, if you didn't notice. And these are great for standing on to reach up higher, maybe a kayak or something that you've put on the roof. Uh, the roof rack is an option, and that's the crossbars that go across on the top. Now in the beginning when I told you this was six feet, eight inches tall, that's true, but without the roof rack. So we have a lot of customers that get the Rover package, but when it's time to put it in their garage, that roof rack sometimes has to come off. So measure your garage, see if that's gonna be a problem for you. 
nice porch light on both sides of the trailer so you can really light up the space all around the trailer if you want to. Now, I just want to point out right here, they use a really nice um, ball fitting when it comes to propping the door open. So it's actually a magnet catch and holds the door from blowing in the wind, but you don't have to clip or unclip anything. These pins right here are for your windshield cover. It's easy to add on. Just clip it right on when you're ready to travel and it comes off, folds up, and can just store away when you're not traveling down the road. Again, this is windshield material. It's going to be tempered glass. Um, it, it is going to be very durable, but the windshield cover really is just extra protection. Right here is where I like to point out the aluminum tongue. Now this is what they call a triple tongue because you have three bars coming forward on it. Uh, however, I like the fact that it shows off the aluminum cage frame. It isn't just aluminum walls or aluminum roof. This trailer is built as one piece. The actual base of the trailer where the axles attach are welded to the sides that's welded to the top. So it is completely welded together before they put the sides and the insulation on. That's key. Almost nothing in this industry is built that way um, because not only does it take a lot of time, it costs a little bit more to use uh, aluminum but it makes for such a strong trailer. And if you don't know this, Intech actually comes from the cargo trailer market, building really nice high-end cargo trailers. So that is certainly something that they've brought into their RV uh, build. In the 2020s, there was a silver plate here that was over the propane tanks. Now, this one has the toilet option. So the cassette toilet actually has the pullout right here. When you're ready to dump your cassette toilet, there is a, a pull up right on the bottom that unlatches it and it slides out very easily. Now this holds about four and a half gallons. Uh, I personally would only let it get about half full just because it's easier to handle. If you're a little stronger than me, you could let it fill up. It's really not difficult. Now this particular toilet, has the handle that catches on the bottom, so you just unfold that handle, and then you can roll this just like a small carry-on suitcase. Now, when you're ready to dump it, it's very simple. This just spins out, you take the cap off, you can dump it into a toilet, maybe into a dump station. Uh, I was speaking with someone today that uh, goes to the state parks here in rural areas, and they actually have composting toilets where you could dump a cassette. Simple to do. You can always open the flap, rinse it out if you'd like. Fold this back into place. It's not messy. I know that some people are worried about this, but this is so simple. All you do is slide it back in and it opens up on its own. So you just put it in the slot, push it right back in. Did you hear it click? that opened up the cassette, it's ready to use right there. So you can see how easy that is. The Luna has a swivel jack on it right here, so it's very easy to use. Um, because we don't have this hooked up to a vehicle, it's hard for me to show you that. But once you crank it up so that you've got some clearance on the wheel, you just pull this spring back and the whole bar just swivels out of the way. I really like this on lightweight trailers because otherwise you're cranking and cranking and cranking trying to get this high enough to get the clearance you need. This way, once you clear the ground, you just swivel it over, it's out of the way. Standard two inch ball, uh, it has the seven pin electric connector in the change just like you'd find on any travel trailer. Now do you remember that switch right inside the door where I said it was the front lights? That's gonna be your blue LEDs right here at the top. Uh, not only do they look great, but they help light out the tongue if you're gonna be hooking up or unhooking in the dark. Now on this side of the trailer, it's gonna look very much like the other side. 
You've got the magnetic catch, doors on both sides, uh, porch lights on both sides. But over here on this side of the roof rack, you'll notice there's an awning. Um, if you have the roof rack option, you can add the awning to it. So great, another great option that just comes straight out uh, and has poles that come down to create shade on the passenger side. All right, now remember, there's the basic, there is the Rover package, which includes the bars, the off-road tires, and the great Rover graphics. It also includes the roof rack option. Then you could have the platinum option, which only adds the styled fenders, a styled bumper in the back, and the graphics. Now let's talk about the options you can add after that. So the options you can add to this trailer are the refrigerator upgrade, the microwave, fireplace, futon mattresses, roof rack, the awning with the roof rack, and the cassette toilet. I hope that really clears up some of the things that are confusing to people when they look at the Luna. If you have other questions, let us know. We're always glad to help you here at Princess Craft RV. I'm PJ with Princess Craft in Round Rock. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna be notified every time we make a new video, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.